Hey YouTubers, Mike Borks with the Mike Borks channel. Thank you for watching. We had a project going on today. We were going to build our brand new floating entertainment center. However, unfortunately, when we went ahead and opened up the box, well, I'll show you. Let's go take a look. All right, YouTubers, what I did first, I opened up the box, and again, the very first piece, the long top piece, which is A, you'll see it shortly in the instruction manual, had a big crack in the dead center. My first thought was, well, this is a bummer. I actually have to go through the annoying process of taking it back to maybe a FedEx or UPS facility and sending it back to the manufacturer. Again, this is a South Shore Entertainment Center. So what I did next was, before continuing opening the box, again, that was the very first part. I just said, no, we're not going to even open this because it's broke. So what I did was I contacted the customer support for South Shore. And what they told me was take a few minutes, open up the box and actually inspect every single piece as well as verify all required hardware is present. So what I did was I went to this page here, which shows the pictorial diagram of the part letter description, as you can see, and I started inspecting every part. And at the end, as you can see, A was the very first part. It had a crack from here all the way to the edge. I also saw a crack in G, F, and H1. And I made notes up here. A, which is this long piece, F, this long back piece, G, the long bottom piece, and H1 right there. All of those were damaged to a point where they were not savable. So once I called them back, they said, okay, what parts are broken? And I mentioned these four parts. They typed them into their computer. And then they also asked any scratches, any dings, any nicks on any of the additional parts. I said, no. And they said, do you want any parts that were not mentioned here to be sent to you for free? I thought that was pretty cool. So what I'll do now is go upstairs and show you the broken parts. All right, YouTubers outside at the broken pieces and I really don't have to show you or point to the cracks you can see them as you can see those are very visible and again these parts are not savable and in the event that you pick this up wrong it will completely snap in half and here's that little part that I was showing you in the instruction manual so again customer service was really nice they just said open the box inspect every part take all the broken parts make a list and take all the nice parts and set those aside and give us a call back and we will replace all parts that are damaged which I thought was great I do not have to do anything with these old parts I don't have to box them up I don't have to send photos or anything nor do I have to go to our local UPS or FedEx and go through that annoying process of sending these back and then just waiting to see if anything is approved which Again, would not be cool. They were great on the customer support line and they're going to expedite these brand new pieces. There's the packaging. All right, YouTubers, quick update. I've actually built the entire entertainment center minus the internal shelves and I have not hung it on the wall. I'll get to that. I'll show you the end product. However, I want to show you something. As you can see, the new parts have arrived. It was this top part, the lower part, and this back piece. I wanna show you the difference in the wood. This was the first wood that they sent. As you can see, particle board. However, the replacement wood that they sent due to the cracks and damages of the other parts, completely different wood. As you can see here. So my guess is the boss got the order across the screen, sent it down below to the production line, and then walked out of the office and yelled down below and said, hey, order number 34, it's a replacement. Pull out the good stuff. So that's kind of cool. So from here, I'm going to mount it. All right, YouTubers, we have mounted the entertainment center as well as the brand new TV. And as far as the length from left to right, it is 68 inches long and it comes out from the wall 16 inches and the height from top to bottom is just shy of 12 inches. In my next project, I am going to hide that power cord and I'm going to do it the exact same way I did my previous TV. And what I will do is leave a link down below in the comment section as well as the description section on a cool way to hide that cord. In addition, we've got our Samsung soundbar and we position the TV mount in a way that the TV rests just in line with the 
sound bar that rests on the entertainment center so I don't actually have to hide any cables or wires behind the TV and the sound bar which is great again the TV and the sound bar at their height and level with the entertainment center hide all wires and cables this is one of our videos that we did a review on a purple pillow so that's it youtubers hopefully the video helps do us a favor below the video you will see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your YouTube bell that would be awesome once you do that every video that we upload you will be notified you will be able to stay up to date with us that will be awesome definitely check out that video where we hide that cord